It's like seeing, you know, maybe from our parents' generation, hopping on and seeing Michael W. Smith and his wife, or Chris Tomlin and his wife, post this picture to Facebook. I'm just trying to parent. <laughs> MySpace. Generation. MySpace, right. <laughs> the newspaper. Open up a telegraph. <laughs> What's up, guys? How you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. And today we are talking we're talking about we're talking about it. Demons and Harry Potter. No, no <laughs> wrong, wrong. We're talking about <laughs> Chandler Moore controversial wedding Instagram post, and he's come up with what I would consider a soft apology. We we got a good amount of requests to talk about this, and I think there's there's plenty to talk about here. One in particular thing that I'm excited to hit on is, um, okay, I can't say I'm excited. It's, it's almost more troubling. It's curious, but just how split kind of like the two camps that Christians have taken. It's like, mm -hmm. you're either in this camp or this camp. Yeah. But just the divide. I like, I don't know. I think it's just worth processing. It's worth processing with you guys, so hope you're excited to get into that. But before we do, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when we go live or drop a new video yes. or anything. Why should they subscribe? Anything. Because we make videos on culture and social issues from a Christian perspective to help you have hope. And be free. <laughs> Let's go. We also want to say thank you so much to our patrons. We love you guys. You all are amazing, beautiful, Fantastic supporters, encouragers. You are part of the reason we keep going. A huge reason. Yes, yes, it's a huge reason we're able to keep going. And if you guys have watched and heard us make the Patreon pitch and been like, I just don't, I like, yeah, that sounds good. And I'd like to support Paul and Morgan, but I'm not really sure. I'm not very tech savvy or whatever. It's very easy. It's very easy. Just click the link below. It'll take you to the page where you can decide. I want to support Paul and Morgan monthly at $2 a month, $5 a month, $10 a month, whatever tier you want. And you'll see the special things that you get when you decide on the tier that you're going to pick. So just pick one of the tiers, click on it. It's really quick and easy to sign up. And then voila. Voila. You're part of the Patreon squad and you're playing a big part in what we're doing on this channel. Also, if you want to do a one-time gift rather than become a monthly patron, you can Venmo at The Paul and Morgan Show. Link below as well. Thank you guys. All right. All right. All, all right. right. So this topic, it seems like we can't really run from it. We cannot. It's just been, maybe it's partly us. You guys keep asking us to talk about it. I get messages in my DMs being like, hey, have you talked about this? Is it on your channel somewhere? Did you talk about it on Instagram somewhere? I'm like, <gasps> And we've, I mean, and we brought it up to our family on the camping trip and we were like, mm -hmm. guys, what do you think about this? And even hearing their thoughts on it, it was like Very. not completely on the same page. Yeah. And I guess I'm kind of wondering <laughs> as we are about to just jump in, why? Like, I, I just find it curious, why is there such a two camps? Like, some Christians over here, some Christians over here. You know, I don't want to say that the majority of people are okay with it, and like, but whatever, who cares? It would seem that the majority of the top posts, so let's go ahead and, and, and get into this. Okay, so for those of you, and I like to use these words, no offense, but those of you who are living under a rock, <laughs> maybe don't have Instagram, maybe don't even know who Maverick City is, music is. The Worship Collective Maverick City, who we've mentioned many times on our channel, I would say their front runner or their lead singer. Chandler Moore. Chandler Moore is the lead the lead of Maverick City. Yes. And uh, not too long ago, he got married. And as many of us who are on Instagram do, we like posting pictures from our wedding. Of course. Very fun. So he hops on there, posts a picture of him and his wife at the altar, uh, praying, Crying. Crying. And then he posts like another slide of, what's it called, where you post several pictures? Carousel. Carousel. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Fancy. <laughs> um, but it was not even necessarily pictures. It was kind of those like... Like boomerangs. Boomerangs. It was like a, yeah, a carousel of boomerangs. Really high quality boomerangs. <laughs> and so the first boomerang, I'm going to pull it up real quick. He's holding his wife and she's showing the wedding ring. Kind of looks like she's flipping everybody they off. are doing this. Um, you know, let's. Oh, that's not... <laughs> The topic for today, <laughs> whether or not they're kind of insinuating to flip people off. They're, they're Okay, everyone does that, I feel like, at their weddings of, like, flipping you off with my ring finger to show off my ring because it's funny because I'm not actually flipping you off, but it looks like I am. <laughs> being goofy, having fun. 
But then the next slide, and I'm not gonna show this picture, it's up to you guys. The next slide looks... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they are, uh, what's the word? Simulating. It looks like they are simulating a sexual position. Yes. And so that when, when I first, uh, you showed it to me, I don't know who sent it to you or whatever. I, a, I don't follow Chandler Moore. A worship leader, I, I don't either, but a worship leader that I follow and love, she posted it and just had some thoughts on it. Some pretty harsh words. Very harsh. And real quick, guys, listen, like, when I think of Chandler Moore in Maverick City, I think of one of the top three most influential worship collectives in the United States. Yep. And so this isn't some fringe worship leader that's just found himself off in the edgy weeds and were like, oh my goodness, like this is one of the biggest, most influential worship leaders. We sing their songs regularly. They got some great songs. Mm -hmm. And suddenly it's, it's like seeing, you know, maybe from our parents' generation, hopping on and seeing Michael W. Smith and his wife or Chris Tomlin and his wife post this picture to Facebook. I'm just trying to parent. <laughs> MySpace. Generation. MySpace, right. <laughs> the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> they see in the news. They open up, open up a telegraph. But anyway, it's like hopping on and seeing Chris Tomlin and his new bride and they are simulating this. It's like a picture of them in a sexual pose. Chandler Moore, his caption on the post was, we honeymooning, so when we get back, we'll post some more. But these are some of our favorite pics. And then he tagged his wife, H. Grace Moore knows how to twerk. Hashtag hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so knows how to twerk. And, and we'll get to his, again, kind of apology where he's like, guys, I said it was a dance move. We aren't... She was in the middle of twerking on me, and then the photo was taken. It, it, the or boomerang, whatever, was taken. Fair enough. Okay, a twerk. But you look at it, and, and he he knew, surely, this, it looks very suggestive. His face, it's very just like... She's, she, yeah, it's very suggestive. Let's just, so, you guys, yeah. When I first saw this picture, mm -hmm. I have to say... I was flabbergasted. You were off the heezy. <laughs> I was not okay. Look, I am a worship leader. I have led many, many worship events and church services and revival nights, whatever. And I have very high standards when it comes to who's leading worship up on the stage with you, how they live their lives off the stage, and how they represent themselves as a Christ follower. I think that we have slacked in that for a really long time. I don't know when it started happening, but just like there's like this desperation in churches of just like letting anyone come lead worship. If you can play an instrument, please come. Here's a question I have in regards to what you're saying. We see the book of James in the Bible where it says, not many of you should be teachers, my brothers, because we know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. Like there literally is stronger judgment and we see the bible in the new testament talk about qualifications for deacons and i believe just the different church pastoral staff and the leaders would you say that worship leaders kind of fall in this camp maybe not quite to the same standard as literally like the teacher or the pastor but you mm -hmm. know we who teach yeah i feel like absolutely worship leaders fall into that it is one like a huge honor and like privilege to be able to lead millions, Maverick City leading millions of people in worship. And what is worship? It is praising God. It is like giving him the highest praise. It is pouring everything out that we have and like step into his throne room. Right, and lead and usher in other people into that throne room. Yes, and so when I saw Chandler's post, I'm like, okay, have a great time at your wedding. Nothing wrong with that. Beautiful post that he made right before this post about Jesus being present and there and and always like from start to finish Jesus was there um but to post that photo in my opinion I think is just unacceptable <laughs> as a leader in the church I mean that's what he is he is a leader you know it's easy to brush this off it's easy to be like they're married who cares they're just having a good time and I get that and to me if it were like one of my friends who just got married and 
you know, posted that photo, but he doesn't, he or she, they don't have a big following. Their calling is not to lead millions of people in worship stuff. Like, I think I would be a little bit less flabbergasted by that. I did think, yeah, I thought to myself, okay, let me just put this into perspective here. I'm pretty shocked to see Chandler Moore and his now bride in this pose posting it mm -hmm. to Instagram. If they want to grind on each other <laughs> during their wedding dance, it, I think it would be awkward still if I was at that <laughs> wedding trying, no what. trying to dance alongside them and I look right. over and see that. But, you know, that's, that's a little different. But mm -hmm. then to actually go a step further and post it. Yeah. Um, is pretty bold. For hundreds of thousands of people to see it. And there's been now on that post, as of us recording this video, 126,700 likes on it and 10,438 comments. <gasps> and again, that's on the, uh, what do you call it? The boomerang carousel post. Yeah, the carousel. So there's one, two, three, four. There's four boomerangs within this one post. But yeah, so I was, I was just wondering to myself, okay, let me put this in context. What if some friends of mine made this post. Mm -hmm. I would probably be like, whoa, guys, like you just posted that for your 400 followers or a thousand followers. I might get on my phone and text them and say, hey, don't know if that was a great idea. But I could see <laughs> a them- A little too far. <laughs> I could see them just having fun, being goofy to their small audience. And then I thought to myself, okay, let me, let me just, who else maybe is in kind of a similar boat? to the Chandler Moore, his now wife, that situation. And I thought to myself, okay, Carrie Job and Cody Carnes. They got married not too long ago, kind of in the same camp. I thought to myself, if Cody Carnes and Carrie Job posted this photo to their Instagram on their wedding day or whatever, I would be shocked. I would be appalled. I don't know of them well. I don't follow them closely, but no, they would not do this. And so in my mind, I'm like, so why am I treating this? Why would I treat this so differently? Oh, well, it's Chandler, like... Yeah, and some of you guys might say, well, that's not fair that you wouldn't respond that way if you're a friend who only has 400 people. But like we said earlier, if you are in a position of leadership, you have a large platform, you have a very large role in the church community, like, you're held to a higher standard biblically. Paul and I, I believe, we're held to a higher standard. I believe that... The other YouTubers that have a Christian platform, no, we're not necessarily pastors, we're not claiming to be pastors or theologians or teachers, but we do have a platform and we are speaking on biblical things and we are carrying the name of Christ in our job and our lives and we are called to a higher standard and we need to take that seriously and we need to respect that that platform that we've been given. Like it's a blessing, it's an honor and a privilege that we have this and it's an honor honor and a privilege that Chandler Moore has gotten to where he is and it's also though a responsibility and I feel like he did not respect that mantle by posting that photo. And don't get me wrong guys, there, uh, there are going to be some people who watch this and say, see Christians are, they can't have any fun. They <laughs> just, and I, I've literally seen this comment, they only stick to one sex position or else it's unholy <laughs> and just, they just uh, no comment, no comment there. But I am like, Chandler and your wife, you guys within, you know, the confounds of your bedroom, confounds, go, go have fun. crazy, <laughs> go crazy and, and enjoy each other. Songs of Solomon level. But, but once you post it for the public to see, you're inviting other people in. And, and, and this is where, I guess, before we kind of read his soft apology, where there's this divide, because you guys are hearing, you, you've already obviously got an idea of where Morgan and I are at with this. <laughs> We're not big fans. And I commented on the post, hate it or love it, that I commented on the post even though I don't know Chandler directly. <laughs> I commented. I'm sorry, but we post things and people post things on our comments that don't know us directly. And I'm sorry, but if you post something online, you are giving people the right to speak. And you have every right to delete those comments, delete those messages, whatever, but you are giving people the right to make a comment on a post that you made. Well, and and I wanted to be, you know, I didn't want to get on here and just start thrashing him. Um, I don't think that's warranted. I don't know the guy. I commented and I said, not a fan of the explicit pose, bro, with kind of a looking, a sad emoji. Because I'm not a fan of it. And I'm, I want to join in this group that is encouraging him and, and kind of challenging him, getting on him, saying, bro, not a fan of this. I'm part of this camp, but I'm not, you know, I, I don't think this indicates that Chandler Moore is not walking with the Lord. 
No. I think to me it indicates more of a immaturity or a... Um, Just a lack of judgment. A lack of discernment. The Bible talks about being above reproach. It talks about giving no appearance of evil. And again, I'm not saying this is evil, but I'll be honest, there's going to be some guys... Do not cause a brother in Christ to stumble. There is going to be some guys who see this, that have struggled with pornography, that are struggling with pornography that are trying to, to get out of it and leave that behind and watch what they see with their eyes. They think that they're on, you know, following this Chandler Moore guy that they can trust his content and then suddenly he's posting, even though they're both fully clothed and in their wedding attire, posting a suggestive photo, a sensual looking pose, yeah. whether it's twerking or whatever, that is likely to, to trigger these type of images and this type of thoughts from the stuff that they're trying to leave behind. Not a fan. I think it, it lacks discernment. And then his apology. Okay, and real quick, guys, just so you know, I, I encourage you all to follow us on Instagram because we've actually, I already commented on this whole situation on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We post quite a bit on there. It's a little quicker way to see what's going on. And if you enjoy following our lives, follow us on Instagram, at Paulologus, at Morganologus. So real quick, because I, I want to get to his apology, just when I talk about kind of this split we're seeing among Christians, all you have to do is go to his, the comment section of this post. You'll pretty quickly see the two camps. You have the camps of where I'm coming from. And really, I've only seen, I haven't seen, and I'm sure they're there, but just the really nasty, mm -hmm. hateful comments. I've seen people saying, Chandler, you shouldn't have posted this. Mm -hmm. And then I've seen a lot of people, pretty much all the top comments saying, and, and even some big names, um, saying, Yeah, buddy! Saying, Congratulations! Yeah. And, 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 Get and there, it! Yeah, you see a lot of people on here commenting, getting on the judgmental Christians. And I mean, literally, like so many comments with the checks marks saying, I can't with y'all crying laughing faces. This is amazing. Ah, congratulations, beautiful people. <laughs> um, people that's worried about that second picture need to let married folk be married folk, okay? <laughs> Hannah, you better for your husband. <laughs> they in covenant now. Her body now belongs to him and his body belongs to her. I mean, come on, they just got married. Let them live. I'm here for the saints getting all bent out of shape over the second one, crying laughing faces. <laughs> So, so many, like, the saints, uh, and yeah, those kind of, that type of wording. The saints are getting so upset. The saints are in an uproar. The judgmental Christians, and that's the split. And it's like, okay, the totally, I'm here for it Christians. They're not judgmental at all. We would never judge. And then the judgmental Christians. Read his apology because he addresses this. Okay. So, let's go into that. So he posted this apology, this apology. <laughs> it's an apology. Okay. It's his apology. It's his apology. He says, honeymoon is heart eyes emoji. Grateful for the gift of marriage. I won't give too much context because it's not necessary, but for those who actually care, my wife was dancing on me. We weren't doing a sexual act. As I said in the caption, she was dancing. Well, he said in the caption twerking, mm -hmm. if you want to call dancing twerking. <laughs> <laughs> there was great music being played. We took a pic while dancing. That's all. If it offended you that I posted it, I apologize. Heart. The only saddening thing that I care enough about to address is the amount of negative, demeaning things said about our marriage because we were dancing in ways some believed inappropriate. Some people literally said we would struggle in the future. We would have a rough marriage. No part of that is Christ-like. The first principle of correction is... You need proximity to someone to give healthy correction. 100% of those who posted publicly or commented literally do not know me. They know what they think about me. That's it, lol. I'm accountable to several leaders. I get corrected on a daily basis. To speak against my marriage is ungodly. Shame me and post about me all you want. Don't care, lol. But to have people who call themselves Christians speak against my wife our marriage and our union is super heartbreaking that's all i must say as my wife will continue to twerk on me <laughs> big smiling emoji 
love y'all heart. I feel like it's obvious the people who are commenting demeaning yeah. things about their marriage that are saying awful things, saying that they're not going to last, that this is going to be a hard marriage. Like, that's gross, and how dare you? Like, that, there is no place There's for no that. There's no place for that. And those are just bullies. Those are petty people. Those are weirdos behind a computer that love to just mess with people for some strange reason. And we've dealt with those people, and we just say, like, that sucks and I'm very sorry Chandler that you had to deal with that but I just think that to lump all Christians into that of like how dare you call yourself a Christian if you're on here on this picture disagreeing with me you 100% don't know me at all you have no right to call me out or correct me or hold me accountable and I just don't know if that's necessarily true well the don't <laughs> you don't know me at all bro like you're in the spotlight you're one of the nation's biggest worship leaders yeah. so in that way once you put yourself on this the big stage mm -hmm. you're out there so people do feel like they know you yeah it's not like we're all jumping on and ganging up on somebody who like we said is just over in his little he's got a sphere of friends he's got 500 followers on instagram and he posts this picture mm -hmm. you're like one of the biggest <laughs> worship leaders you share your it's a part of your life with millions mm -hmm. coming from a just personal experience we receive comments and messages all the time of people correcting us of people calling us out of people saying things and there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it there's a way that if you send me a message and it is kind and considerate and you come as a brother or sister in Christ probably specifically sister just because you know um yeah. and you're just like hey i'm just curious i remember actually very recently a friend of mine on instagram never met her in person but she has you know stayed connected with me and we've had this connection and friendship built through instagram she actually messaged me a few weeks ago and just kind of like challenged me and corrected me on something Ooh. and i received it very much and it's like she doesn't know me in person Do but tell. she knows what's on instagram what's on youtube and you know what but I've allowed you guys to see online and she challenged me and there have been people throughout the four and a half years of us doing this that have messaged us in the right way have commented things in the right way that have made us go huh that's very interesting. I received that or I'm going to think on that. I'm going to pray on that. And I think that there were plenty of people on Chandler Moore's page doing that same thing. And even just Paul being like, don't appreciate the provocative pose or whatever, like sad face. Okay. That wasn't like anything nasty. It wasn't no. anything like, how dare you I'm disgusting you? I wish the me. best for their marriage. <laughs> yes. I, I just hope it's fruitful. I hope that the marriage bed that as weird as it sounds like <laughs> is blessed I'll bless all of that you guys have fun have yes. fun that's a beautiful part of marriage it is um but anyway let's let's talk a little more about the uh the apology i think just this first part won't give too much context my wife was dancing on me we weren't doing a sexual act music was being played we took a pic while dancing if that offended you that i posted that i apologize heart you stop right there and that's a fair and good apology the thing is, though, if he would have stopped right there, he probably would have had to take the picture down because it would have sounded weird to make that apology. Sorry if that offended you, heart, and then leave the picture up. And right now the picture is still up. I felt like that would have been taking just the mature yeah. route. Like, I don't need this photo up. It's causing a lot of drama. Maybe I don't even agree with the people that are posting this. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know why he's continued to keep it up well, other than, like... And I think I see nothing wrong with it. None of the people that hold me accountable see anything wrong with it. I'm leaving it up. You know, okay, it, whatever. It, there, there's a little bit of a tough line, like like alcohol, for instance. You have some people who really strongly feel like Christians shouldn't drink alcohol. When I read scripture, I, I see verses that would indicate that Christians can drink alcohol. But then Paul talks about he gives a couple examples of hey if this is causing a, a weaker brother to stumble like just don't do it so you got all that i may be okay with drinking alcohol but am i going to get on my instagram and post pictures of me taking shots right. and looking like i'm drunk like oh <laughs> probably not right um because to me that lacks discernment and that will likely cause other believers um that that maybe hurt their conscience believers that look up to me younger believers that follow our youtube channel mm -hmm. and suddenly they see me doing shots with my friends and i'm like bent over whether i'm joking around or not because chandler's saying we were just dancing and it was fun i'm not going to post that type of picture 
to my Instagram. I'm going to play it safe because just out of respect for my brothers and sisters and my witness. Yeah. And you know, the Bible talks about it was watching the way we live, like our witness. Paul, by the way, does not take lots of shots and get drunk ever. <laughs> not, not lots of shots. <laughs> I've never seen you take a shot in your life. <laughs> um, but then Chandler goes on. He talks about the first principle of correction is you need proximity to someone to give healthy correction. I, I see what he's saying. Um, but you get so many people that are just have this idea of don't judge, don't speak out against people. How well do you know them? I, fine. I do look at the Apostle Paul. Paul calls people out. Paul writes about him in his letters. There's a place for that. I do get that. There are people in our lives that we allow to speak into our lives, and after that, we just have to tune things out because you can go it insane. It can get overwhelming, yeah. <laughs> like worrying about what everyone's saying. I think that it can be taken a little too far. Never say any correction to anyone unless you know them right. really well and you're really close with them. I think that can be taken too far. But here's what gets me. The second to last line, that's all I'm going to say as my wife will continue to twerk on me. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that just sounds like, and with all that said, you all can shove it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, with that said, you guys can go take a hike. <laughs> My wife will still be twerking up on me. I'll probably post another picture of her <laughs> twerking on me because I don't care. With that apology <laughs> said, there may be more pictures like this. And you, all, you guys can take a hike. Like, it just sounds so, that to me, that sounds petty and look he hasn't been in the spotlight for that long he's pretty young still it takes a while to learn how to live a life in the spotlight he's 26 years old <laughs> he's still young yeah not to say that paul and i live our lives in the spotlight we do not but like i said earlier we have a platform with you guys and we have grown so much in how we live our lives but how we handle ourselves on the platform i mean you can see from the very beginning of our YouTube career to now, we have grown a lot. And we've made mistakes. We've made videos that we've taken down because they were too harsh or too lack. Like, we, we lack judgment and, and discernment in making those videos and posts that I've archived or whatever because I've just learned. Like, as I've grown, I've learned this is acceptable. This is not. This is me. I'm just gonna not do that because I just don't feel like dealing with anything. <laughs> and like, then there are times when I'm like, I'm gonna be bold and I'm gonna post this and I don't care what people say. And I think that he's still kind of figuring that out. Like it really has not been that long that he has been mm -hmm. in the spotlight the way he is now. I hope that he'll grow from this. All right, you guys, comment below. Let us know. What did you think of our thoughts? What did you think of that picture if you've seen it? If you haven't, you know, I would say it's not dire to go see it. <laughs> it's but... not. You, you kind of hear what the gist of it is. Yeah. But comment below, let us know. Do you agree or disagree? Why? We want to know. Give this video a thumbs up. If you've been enjoying the Paul and Morgan show in our last several episodes, if you're liking the direction it's going. All right, guys. Well, we love you all very much. Chandler, we love you and we bless you guys. Come on. Let's, let's hold ourselves to a high standard. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll catch you again very soon. Have hope. And be free. Open up a telegraph <laughs> and hear. The dove letter. <laughs> that was the pigeon dove. <laughs> Dropped off. Yeah, the, the hawk. A drawing. Okay. <laughs>